super affordable, which makes it Are you ruining my video and barking? Do you have something to say to the people? You do? Today we are going to be making a Mediterranean cod. We first make a beautiful crust on the cod and then it bathes in this lemon butter garlic sauce. This cod is not only super delicious, but it's also very affordable, which makes it a weekly staple in our home. Let's first take a minute to talk about where I get the fish. I like to get my fish from Trader Joe's. It's wild caught, it's affordable, you can get three fillets under $10, and it's frozen so I can enjoy at my convenience. To thaw it out, all you need to do is put it on a plate and let it thaw out in the fridge. I like to take a paper towel and wipe the excess water from the fish. So we're gonna begin with our batter and these are the spices that we'll be using. We're gonna start with one cup of super fine almond flour. Then we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom, quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Take a fork and combine the dry ingredients until well incorporated. Then we're going to crack two eggs and do not leave a shell like I did here. Then we're just going to take our fish, put it in the egg mixture, and then we're going to coat it in the flour mixture. I like to make sure that the entire fish is coated and you can easily use your fork as your tool in order to make sure that all of the holes are filled in. Add it back into the egg mixture and then we're going to add it back into the flour mixture. Set on a plate and then we're going to repeat the process for the remaining fish as well as you can see here. I'm going to mince up two cloves of garlic and I'm gonna add it in a little bowl I'm gonna be using three lemons. I'm going to use the juice of two lemons and a simple way to squeeze it is by just putting your hand right under to catch all of those seeds. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other half of the lemon as well. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of capers, make sure that you drain the juice first, and give this a quick stir. With the third lemon, I'm actually just going to slice it and I'm going to add the lemons to our lemon garlic mixture. Put a generous amount of olive oil in the bottom of a cast iron skillet and then we're going to make sure it's nice and hot before adding our cod. Make sure that you don't burn your fish. It's only gonna take about two to four minutes per side. Preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Add our lemon garlic mixture and we're going to add two tablespoons of butter as well. I love to use grass-fed butter. You can easily use a ghee. Then we're going to just take the entire skillet and we're going to bake it in the oven until the fish is still a little juicy, nice and flaky. Usually that takes about six to eight minutes for my oven. We mince up some fresh parsley, remove the cod, and then you could easily just serve it in your cast iron. I like to transfer it into another dish just to make it look a little bit more beautiful on the presentation. Sprinkle with our fresh parsley. That is how simple and easy it is to make this delicious Mediterranean baked cod. You could easily serve this with pasta, rice, or even some potato wedges. I can't wait to dig in. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this recipe, give it a big thumbs up. It helps support my channel. Make sure you subscribe because I don't want you to miss out on any recipes. I post recipes every single week that inspire you to make fresh food to your table. Thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next one.